Hi, I'm Ryan Fleury and I work for Aroga Technologies. In this video, I will be showing you how to pair your HandyTech Active Braille 40 cell braille display with your Android device. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have both the free TalkBack and BrailleBack apps from the Google Play Store installed on your device. Once that is done, we need to go into settings and make sure our Bluetooth is turned on. Twitter. Find the settings icon settings. on your device and double tap it. Settings. Showing items 1 to 12 of 36. Swipe down until you get to the Bluetooth section. Settings. Wireless and networks. Wi-Fi. On. Switch. Bluetooth. There's Bluetooth. Off. And Switch. And it tells me that it's off, so I'm going to double tap to turn that on. On. Bluetooth is now on. So now that we have the Bluetooth turned on, we're going to grab the HandyTech Active Braille Braille Display. What we need to do is turn Bluetooth on on our HandyTech Braille Display. So I'm going to power the unit up with the switch on the right. And the unit beeps to tell us that it's on, and the Braille Display shows the words HandyTech. I'm going to press the letter O to jump to the Options menu. The Braille Display says Options. I'm going to press Enter, which is dot eight. The first item you see is Bluetooth Pairing. We're going to scroll down until we get to the Bluetooth On option. So our Braille display now says Bluetooth On, but at the left-hand side of the Braille display are a left bracket and a right bracket with a blank cell in between. This is a checkbox, so in order to turn Bluetooth on, we need to check it by pressing Enter or dot .8 on the Perkins keyboard. If you look at the Braille display now, you'll see that there's a Braille letter X in between the bracket. Bluetooth is now turned on. We're going to scroll back up now to Bluetooth Pairing. Once you see the Bluetooth Pairing option, press Enter, and on the right hand side of the Braille display you'll see the cells start to scroll from left to right up and down. When we left off we had Bluetooth on on our device, so I'm going to swipe up the Bluetooth, Bluetooth and double tap. Bluetooth. Showing items 1 to 3 of 3. I'm going to go down to search for devices. Search for devices. And double tap. Showing item one of six. Showing item one of nine. My device has now found a bunch of Bluetooth devices. I'm going to see if Active Braille is one of them. Showing item one of ten. Available device Active Braille op four slash a one dash ten thousand sixteen. There's the Active Braille, so I'm going to double tap that. Bluetooth pairing request. It brings up a Bluetooth pairing request, so I want to find the pair button and double tap. Bluetooth pair to pair with cancel button, pair button. Bluetooth. Showing items 1 to 9 of 10. Portrait. Bluetooth. Showing items 1 to 9 of 10. The Android device makes a sound to tell us that we are now connected. So now that the two devices are connected, we need to turn PC mode on on the Active Braille. So to do that, I'm going to press the letter P with the spacebar. Now that we're in PC mode, if I swipe the screen on my Android device, Bluetooth, navigate up. It says Bluetooth. Alert choose input method, hardware, and my Braille keyboard, display on, is set actually up input tracking methods, along with my hardware phone. Keyboard. So everything that my phone is saying is showing up on my Braille display. If you want to use the Active Braille as a keyboard and control your Android device, you need to go into settings on your Android device, go into language and input, and make sure the Braille back is checked. So I'll do that now. Language and input. Showing items 1 to 9 of 19. So we're looking for keyboards. Language and input. Navigate up. Keyboard and input methods. Default. English. Us. Google Keyboard. Check. Braille Hardware Keyboard. Braille Hardware Keyboard. And we've got the Braille Hardware Keyboard option checked. I can now control my Android device using the Braille display. So if I press the letter H with the space bar, home. you hear my device say home. If I press dot one in the space bar, it should move up. It tells me there's nothing at the top. If I press dot four in the space bar, 
it moves down to Chromecast, which is my next option. Play Store. I press dot four in the spacebar again, it goes down. So you can see using your 8 key Perkins style keyboard to control your Android device can be quite handy as you don't have to keep moving your hands back and forth.